Hello all, uh, my name is Chirant Ramaswamy. I am a master student uh, at the University of Florida. Uh, this is the presentation regarding the statistical machine translation uh, research that we have done under the guidance of Dr. Dapang Oliver Wu. Uh, so let me start with the presentation. So uh, neural or statistical machine uh, translation is a very effective way to uh, have machines to learn translation from a particular source language to a uh, target language. Uh, in most of the traditional st uh, statistical machine translations that we have already have, we see that uh, as we are using restricted libraries or small libraries, the probability of getting an unknown word for uh, the special cases are more. So over here, uh, as a solution, we propose a hybrid model where uh, we want to use both the word-based model as well as the character-based model uh, to overcome the problem that I just described. So over here, uh, for frequent words that we see, uh, very often we will use the word-based model or encoder-decoder model to predict the target word. And uh, for the rare words that occur not very frequently, we use the character-level model and that is mapped to the input of the word-level model. So over here in the figure, uh, you can see the example uh, of uh, like uh, where we have attached a character level model to the word level model. <laughs> so uh, mainly our project uh, work can be divided into three step stages that we had done. So first was the data gathering and data processing step. And the next one was uh, the coding step where we uh, utilized uh, Python and MATLAB, uh, MATLAB to code for it. And then the next step was evaluating and analyzing our results. So in data gathering, the data source that we collected uh, was the source language was English and the target language which, which we were targeting was German. And uh, the total testing sentences were around 10,000 and the total training sentences pair of English to German was around 4.5 million uh, sentence pairs. And also the vocabulary size that we chose for this project were uh, the top 20,000 frequent words and the remaining words uh, were decoded using character level model. So uh, coming to the algorithm that we uh, used to implement our network. So our model works on getting the conditional probability uh, such that probability of predicting a target sentence given a source sentence can be given by logarithmic probability of y given x where y is the source and the target sentence and x is the source sentence it is nothing but the summation over all examples i equal to 1 to m logarithmic probability of a particular word in the target sentence depending on the previous word in the sentence so basically uh, every word in the target sentence that we are going to predict is going to depend on the syntactical nature of the previous words that we have already predicted and this can be again given by uh, calculating the softmax of the hidden state or what uh, we can call as attentional vector so our logs function can be calculated by uh, again summing up over all the source and target sentences we can calculate the logarithmic probability of negative logarithmic probability of uh, predicting a target sentence given a source sentence so our aim will be to minimize this particular loss function <coughs> And in our project, we are also using a global attention-based approach uh, where in the figure you can see that <coughs> uh, the uh, hidden states, the hidden states or the source hidden states is compared with the target hidden states, individual target hidden states to produce an alignment vector. And this alignment vector is used uh, to calculate the context vector. And this context vector can be used to uh, derive the attentional vector. Yeah, over here, if you see in the alignment step, the source vector or the source hidden state is compared with the target hidden state and we get the attentional vector. And then the <coughs> alignment vector uh, or the alignment vector is calculated as the tan h function or the weighted average of context vector and the hidden state vector. So basically tan h is the function or the activation function for our network as we are using LSTM or uh, long short term memory approach. So as we have both word based and character based model, 
uh, the total loss function again is a composite of uh, both the word level loss function and uh, the character level loss function so also we have a feed input model uh, where we can see that to save the alignment information of the previous units and time steps we combine the attention vector with the hidden state unit of the previous step so that uh, when we move uh, up in the time step we have the previous alignment information also and coming to the train parameters and constraints <clears throat> our training uses english to german data set of 4 million sentences uh, pairs and also we have uh, tested various models or trained various models uh, by limiting the vocabulary size uh, to 10000 words 20000 words and 50000 words uh, so the words uh, which are not in these shortlisted vocabularies so they are replaced by unk token and in turn character level model is used for that uh, so we have also trained so basically when we started our training we started with uh, the sentence as it is we uh, used to uh, pass the sentence as the input uh, in the straight manner uh, we have also trained by reversing the source sentence uh, which uh, has given us more beautiful results so we have also varied the parameters varying from uh, like you from one layer model and 100 cell per layer model to four layers with thousand cells or thousand dimensional embedding per layer and these are common characteristics for both character and word based model they use uh, we use the same characteristics for both of them and also we are using a probability of dropout to vary from 1.0 to 0.8 and finally 0.2 in most of the tests so uh, we are we are training our network for around uh, 12 epochs or iterations and we are also dividing our back uh, batch size uh, or batches uh, per 150 sentences per batch so we start with the initial learning rate of one and uh, we reduce it to half once every six iterations and every consecutive iteration so here you can see uh, the results uh, so you can see the source sentence in english and uh, if you look at the reference that is the actual translation in german and uh, you can see our translation so most of the very, uh, words are predicted uh, uh, properly uh, with respect to some unknown words and uh, if you look at the variation of the blu eu with the vocabulary size uh, you can see that uh, till 40k words or 40k vocabulary size uh, it keeps on increasing and it reaches a constant level after, after some point and uh, if we look at the BLEU scores, uh, we see that we got a maximum score uh, when we used a reverse sentence with probability 0.2 and global attention with feed input. And this is uh, the BLEU uh, score variance along uh, the sentence lines. So as I said, uh, this is the best result that we got when we reversed the sentence or sentence uh, with a dropout probability of 0.2 and along with uh, global intention and feed input. So let's uh, quickly go for the demo. So over here, uh, so most of our uh, project is implemented in MATLAB, but the pre-processing of the data uh, where we uh, convert the word uh, based sentences or the word based sentences to id based is done in python scripts and once we have uh, isolated the ids these ids are transformed into fixed size vectors that is we are limiting the sentence length to a total of 51 and if the sentence is uh, smaller than 51 words we append a start of sentence or sos character at the beginning of sentence and uh, end of sentence at the end of the sentence so let's quickly go for uh, the demo so <clears throat> this is the command uh, to train our network train underscore net and uh, this is the path or prefix of where our train files uh, train files or training data are and uh, this is uh, another data set that we are passing varied data set so this is uh, the translations of european assembly that we collected so this is another uh, testing set that we are passing and this is the path of the testing data and our source language is english and uh, destination language being german and we are also passing the uh, location of the vocabulary files that we have already created using python and also the destination vocabulary 
and this is the output folder where we want to create our mat files so if i quickly open uh, the train net you can see that there are a lot of parameters that you can vary uh, during testing uh, for example you can change the epoch and you can pass it in the command line as it is and you can also change the learning rate uh, the number of nodes uh, the number of layers and also the batch size uh, how many sentences do you want in a batch and the character weight the sentence length if you want to increase the sentence length you can also increase the sentence length uh, so that's uh, pretty much it and if i click on enter so basically it uh, tells you <coughs> how many uh, words are there in the vocabulary uh, the, the source vocabulary destination vocabulary and uh, it tells you where all the data is being loaded from and it has started with the first epoch iteration so basically the training uh, took around uh, four to five days for us so it takes uh, a lot of time for the training to complete so uh, I already have a pre-trained model uh, saved uh, where I ran the same steps to get the mat files and save it over here. So uh, there are two files if you can see netparam.mat and netrecent.mat. So netparam.mat is the actual data with the uh, good results in it. Netrecent.mat is the last performed iteration results. In netparam.mat we keep on saving uh, and updating the weights. if uh, the gradient norm exceeds greater than five. We keep on updating the weights, and we see that uh, we had we have got uh, best results uh, in epoch eight or iteration eight with a uh, learning rate of 0.25. So we already have the net param uh, dot mat. So let me go ahead and uh, show you the testing. So uh, if you see over here, so <clears throat> this is the path uh, where uh, I have my mat file saved with the weights and everything saved and this is the output directory. So if I look at the test file, so basically this, uh, this is calling all the implemented functions that we have done already and it is setting the beam length to 12 which is what we had used during training and the stack length to 1 again which is what we had used in training and uh, pretty much you can change the paths as well by passing in the command line so we have added the optional characters uh, optional command line so let me go ahead and test it out so this will go ahead and uh, create output folder um, in the same directory so if we look at uh, the output there are two files one is the log file and the other is the output file if you look at the log file so uh, let me open it in a wordpad i think i already have it open yeah <coughs> so this is telling us uh, how many sentences we decoded so basically i had around 100 sentences it is telling me the time and it is giving me the id of the end of sentence that is it is the id of end of sentence is three and uh, the minimum length that we had chosen maximum length and over here if you see it's telling us what the source is basically we are passing the source in reverse sentence so it's printing it in reverse and the actual sentence is this one so once we have this so we have the translation libin siege note emer so and some of the words are printed as unknown so basically uh, it's translating most of the words uh, and uh, in the same way you can also see it for the other source as well <coughs> So basically, uh, this is the log file which give which give you a detailed information. And in the output file, if we see, we will just see the translations directly printed over there. And uh, in the character file, you will see which all words use the character based model. So uh, this is pretty much it, and we have got uh, the score of our BLU score of around 17.41 for this one. But uh, as a continued approach. Uh, with more computing power we can increase the uh, vocabulary size and also the data set size uh, to get better results and also uh, in our project we have used global attention we can also uh, go ahead and use uh, local attention and test it out thank you guys